In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a long shadow effect in Photoshop. So hi guys, welcome back to new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to do this very simple long shadow design effect here. Now I don't want to bore you guys too long with this and don't want to go too complicated with going with uh, the layer styles or 3D options. I want to keep it very simple and easy so anyone can do this who just started with Photoshop. Okay, so first of all what we're going to do is just turn everything off to see the layers that we've done here. This is basically our start, just the color layer. But if you're completely new to this and you need to create a canvas, simply head over to File, New, and you can create a canvas over here. If you want to know more about this, have a look on the channel. I've created another tutorial teaching you how to do this. I'm going to hit Cancel again and start right away out so all the other subscribers know exactly where we are. And first of all, what we're going to do is create a new adjustment layer here just with a solid color. So let's do that. Down here we have the adjustment layers. I'm going to select solid color over here. Right away we will go into the color picker and I'm going to select now a little bit of a yellowish greenish color. Really weird mix over here. Something like that. A little bit darker. Great. I'm going to hit OK and that is being selected. So as you guys can see pretty much the same progress. Now as well, the really nice thing is you can double click on here, it will bring you back into the color picker if say maybe in 10 minutes you're not so happy with this color, you can rechange this again. Okay, we're going to hit cancel and start right out with our first object that we're going to use now. Today I'm going to work with the YouTube play button. I simply went online and found this YouTube play button logo over here. And yeah, first of all what I'm going to do is import it right away into Photoshop, which I've done. Now I'm going to rescale it and simply, it's already in the transform mode, I'm going to take an anchor point here on the right hand side, hold shift on the keyboard, so it's equally expanding and just going to make this nice and big. Okay, I'm going to move it down into the position that I want to, also accepting it here from the top or you can simply press enter on the keyboard. And again with the move tool, I'm going to move it down a little bit because I want to have it down here at the bottom and maybe at the top again as you guys can see earlier have the long shadow effect or just the text here. Great, so let's do that. Again, first of all we have our YouTube play button over here. I want to actually steal this quickly so I don't need to cut it out and try to rebuild it with the path. So simply I'm going to take the magic wand tool, I'm going to hover over it and just select it and right away we have a selection around the white area. So the magic wand tool picks all the white pixels up. I'm going to press command Z on the keyboard. I'm working with the Mac so the Windows guys please use control when I say command. So command Z copy and command V to paste this and as you guys can see we also have a bit of a shadow going on here in the play button so I do want to steal this in a second so that's why I'm not deleting this layer yet. Let's just turn it off and we can see already here's our play button. But I can see right away, I'm just going to press Z on the keyboard. I can see right away we've already got a really weird round edge here. So that happens normally when you work with copying something with the magic wand. So you guys can see this red stripe. I want to get rid of that as well. Super easy. Just going to adjustment layer over here. And we're going to head over to a hue and saturation adjustment layer. And once we've created that, we can go to the saturation slider here and just take it all the way down. But whoa, what happened now? It's affecting our complete image. Yes, that is because it's standing alone. We need to clip this layer to the play button layer. So simply hold Alt on the keyboard, go between the layers, a little arrow will appear. And you can just clip this again to this layer. And this means that this adjustment layer is now only affecting layer number four, which we're going to rename quickly to YouTube Play. So you guys also know what's happening over here. Okay, you to play, there we go. And if you want to now, you can also hold shift, take both of these layers, hit right click again, and just say merge layer. So then it's out of your life and you've just got one layer again. Okay, let's zoom out. And now super easy step again, turn on here your YouTube layer. You want to replicate the shadow. And what we're going to do is again work with the pen tool and create a really quick path. Again, if you're not familiar with the pen tool, have a look on the channel. I've created another tutorial for that. Again, Z, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to select with P the pen tool or simply on the left hand side. I'm going to do an anchor point over here and right around here. And I'm just trying to make a straight path over here. As you guys can see, nice path. Now we're just completing the process. 
and completing our path here via clicking on the last or first anchor point again. Okay, and we're combining that. I'm going to hit right click, make a selection, zero feathering, please. No, if you, you don't want feathering over here now, it needs to be zero. Okay, and we have a nice selection. Now, next step, again, going to create a new layer. This is going to be our shadow or first shadow effect. Okay, shadow, there we go. Let's just type this correct shadow and I'm going to hit M for marking tool. Very important. And now inside of the selection, please hit right click and say fill this up with black contents color here. So basically just black. Okay. And okay. And as you guys can see, we have now a really nice selection here, which is black. Okay. Command D, deselect this again. Windows users, please use control. Okay, and we can zoom out again with Z. And right away, you guys can see here's the shadow, but it's still too strong. And we still have our YouTube detail layer here. So we can actually turn this off. And if you want to, delete it completely. And we've got shadow effect. Now, last step, take opacity all the way down to maybe just like a 20, 21%. And it looks really nice and slick. It also gives it a bit of a 3D look there. Great. So then again, zoom out a bit. Now, next step that I want to do is maybe just take a guideline. So select your move tool. And again, your guides over here. I want to start my first guide over here. And my second guide should be somewhere over here. Okay. So this basically means I want to create a long shadow now. So the shadows should start somewhere over here, go throughout, then combining or going all the way back here and coming back in here. As you guys can also see here earlier, going he out here and then all the way out, coming back in here. Now this is a bit tricky, not too tricky. You need to play with this a little bit, go back and forth with your pen tool, but it's easier instead of just using it with the layer starts. Okay, I'm going to zoom it out and zoom in actually a little bit. I'm going to put my first anchor point somewhere over here. So that's basically where we're going to start. I'm going to zoom out again with Z, pen tool again. And I'm somewhere over here now going to put an anchor point. So boop, over there you guys can see this line is my first point. Then I'm going to move out a bit, a bit over here. And now I'm trying to get pretty much the same angle as I have over here with this line. So again, from here to here, boom. And as you guys can see, it looks pretty much the same. It's not completely, or I can tell it's not complete the same, but it kind of works already for this tutorial. Again, completing the path over here. Last anchor point, hit right click again, and the same process as before. Make a selection, zero feathering, okay, but this time just on a complete new layer if you want them to be apart from this shadow. Or again, if you want, you can also hit here now with the marking tool, right click, fill selection with black contents again, okay. Command D, get out of the selection, and you've already got the same opacity as here, our first shadow, because they're obviously on the same shadow layer. And now if you want to, turn it up or down, darker or lighter, whatever you want. Yeah, so just a quick super effect showing you guys how to do a long shadow effect. Also, if it's not perfect yet for you guys, what you can also do is just create always a new help layer. So basically, you're just going to create a new empty layer over here. You're going to make a selection. So basically, just with the normal elliptical or rectangular marking tool, you're going to make a squared box. Right click, fill this again with black contents or white, whatever you want to. Press Command D, get out of the selection. And now simply press Command T to get into transform mode. Go a little bit over here to the sides until you get to those rotating arrows. And you can just rotate it into the direction you want to. So say for instance you wanted to have it this direction or even a little bit longer, a little bit more perspective in there. You can place it like so. Okay, and now you've already got pretty much the perfect guideline for you here to go with your um, new path if you're creating a new path. And simply you can just duplicate this layer with Command J and just place it again over here like so and you will get exactly the perfect paths over here. You can duplicate it once more and just put it down here and you guys kind of get the effect. Now I actually want to show it to you guys quickly. So again, I'm going to turn this off basically create a new layer just with a pen tool but we still need those so just on the layer 5 now with the pen tool as well zoom a little bit closer the first one over here I'm going to move it in a little bit closer like so and again putting an anchor point over here we're going to combine this layer here so over here the path goes along this we're going to zoom out 
just head over here with your path you don't need to be too accurate with this then you want to do this one really accurate and last one over here super accurate again boom over here and you're already getting into the same directions so again let's combine this make a selection again same process zero feathering okay on layer 5 please again with marking tool you're gonna fill it up with black right click and I'm gonna say here fill with black again so pretty much the same effect just showing you guys how you can do it also a little bit simpler if you're struggling with this so this looks a bit neater and nicer okay and obviously just take down the opacity still Great, so this is just the simple uh, shadow, long shadow effect again. And lastly, what I still did here previously, I've just added again a bit of text right to the top, calling it the long shadow. Yeah, great. So that's all for the tutorial. If you are new to this or if you want to share this with all your buddies, go ahead, especially with all of your buddies who are new to this. Um, if you like this tutorial, don't forget to hit me up with a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys all in the next tutorial. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.